Heartbreak High through a lot at Amory, I Shall Madden, in Season 2. The beloved Australian comedy returned with Amory wanting to make up for her social pariah status and not being there for Harper, Asher Yaspinsek, in Season 1. But Amory's quest to become a better person is met with a few roadblocks, including a creepy stalker, relationship problems with Malachi, Thomas Weatherall, and an unplanned pregnancy. By the season's end, we find out that Amory's childhood friend Rowan, Sam Reckner, is bird psycho and blames her for a major past trauma. But that reveal doesn't stop Amory from making sure that Rowan safely gets out of the school during a fire. Malachi isn't there to see her moment of growth, however, as he moved out of the country with his mother. Amory, who declares her love for him at the school formal, doesn't even get to see goodbye. Below, EW talks to Madden about Amory's abortion episode, what she thought of the bird psycho reveal, and more. After the reception of season one, did filming this season feel different in any way? Aisha Madden. It's really rare for an Australian series to be on an international stage, so the success of the show was a pleasant surprise to all of us. In the second series, it felt special knowing that we had an audience and knowing these characters meant so much to every demographic of kid, teenager, and even all generations resonated with these characters. This series we were working on something bigger than us, whereas the first felt a bit more insular. Amory's unplanned pregnancy and abortion gives you some really complicated material towards the end of the season. What stands out about filming that episode? If I'm completely honest with you, it was equally the most special and most difficult day of filming for me. We shot all the abortion stuff in one day, and some of it we only got a couple takes because we were running tight on time. By the end of the day, getting into that mentality, as cliche as it sounds, I'm not a method actor by any means, but getting into that mentality was emotionally draining. That plot line was so special and I wanted to handle it with extreme care because it's something that is very important to me. The right to abortion is very important to me personally, and it's really rare that we get to see an abortion on screen where it's not traumatic and it is the right decision for the character. It's important for young girls to see that option portrayed on screen in that way. It's handled in the heartbreak highway, which is to infuse it with humor. For that reason, I have to ask about your reaction to Amory naming her fetus Lil Feets. What the writers do so well is injecting that very quintessential Australian humor into it. Again, I am going off the lack of trauma with the abortion, which is something that is a lot for anyone. The mix of something so heavy with just a bit of humor really added a dimension of beauty and humanity to the scenes. I like that Amory remained herself throughout. When did you find out about Rowan being bird psycho? I'm going to claim something big and say that I was the only cast member to guess it was Rowan. I feel like everyone thought it was Quinny. I knew it was Rowan from the beginning, and I don't know how I did. Rowan and Amory seemed to start a nice romance before the twist with his character. If he didn't end up being bird psycho, do you think they had a shot? The way I played the whole unraveling of that eighth episode was that she does love Malachi. She has always loved him, and she says it verbatim. I do feel like Amory has this extreme desire to be loved, and it's such a natural human thing, to want to be loved. It's Amory's main objective throughout the whole thing, and when it doesn't work out with Malachi, she just often needs to bounce back in any way she can. Rowan was saying all the right things. It was that classic thing of Rowan was right for her head, but Malachi was always right for her heart. I don't actually think they would have had too much of a shot. Amory has been committed to being a better person. How does her going back for Rowan show her growth? Amory grows up a lot in those final two episodes, and she's not even aware of it. She's so preoccupied the whole season with this symbolism of being a good person that she just keeps F-I-N-G up. In those final episodes, it's really nice that she has it in her. She's a good person by default, and I'm not actually sure she wasn't before. There's an element of selflessness that develops with Amory throughout the season where she grows up and puts other people first, which is lovely to see. You see it with Quinny and School Captain as well. That moment of maturity for Amory is special, and I'm excited to continue to explore if we get a third season. Amory and Malachi clearly love each other, but where do you land on whether or not they are a good fit as a couple? There are two sides of relationships. There's chemistry and love, and then there's functionality. I tend to think when you're in high school, the functionality of things doesn't matter too much because you're not looking at marriage at that point or kids. You're not looking at the logistics of that. So Malachi and Amory will be great together. Their chemistry is so beautiful and I really hope to see them together. 
The season ends with Amory asking what happens now. So I'd like to end by asking what is one thing you want to see happen next? Whatever happens with the boys, happens with the boys. I'm excited for Amory to find a passion. We haven't seen much about what she likes to do or what she's good at. She's a very determined young lady, and if she puts her mind to something, she could be very good at it. This interview has been edited for length and clarity.